it's now Friday and it's my day off and I have been so boring this week but I literally haven't done anything um, except for go to work and then come home so that's fun I just curled my hair um, I mean I've been in this room every single time I've filmed a clip so I'm really sorry about the boring vlog um this week it's just literally a reality i <laughs> what did i even do this week i had work monday tuesday i had work again wednesday was my only day off and i showed you guys what i got from the chemist that was literally my only outing thursday i had work and then today i don't have work we're going out with my grandma for her birthday um today so i might bring my camera for that and I want to see if mum will go to the shops with me after that because I want to go to Mecca. I have a voucher for my birthday that I want to spend. Um, so yeah, I might see if she wants to do that. I have to get some bits as well before I go away next week, which is exciting. I'm really excited to go away. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to get ready. I might put on a bit of BB cream. I feel like my um, skin is looking quite shit. I've gotten like really weird breakouts. So I've got them kind of like all down here, which is where I normally get them these days because they're wearing a mask at work. So yeah, um, I've had like a pretty bad one here, but it's going down. I've gotten some like around here and then on my chin, they're all like quite faded because I have been trying to keep up my skincare. Um, and I just turned my face using the Natio Gentle Skin Toner. So yeah, I just use a cotton pad on my face for that and tried to wipe away some of the dirt just because I do fake tan my face. It does get quite dirty. Is that a bee? Oh my God. So loud. Where did you come from? I really don't like fat flies or bees. Oh my god. I can't tell if it's a bee. Get out. Go away. I think it's a bee. Okay, excuse my hair right now, but I have seen people apply like their foundation and everything with their hands and I was like mm, I don't really know how I feel about that but oh my god how natural does this look I literally put on this BB cream and it's already quite natural anyway it's the Mecca Max off duty BB cream um, and I didn't think it would look this natural so I've been using like a brush to buff it in um, whenever I use it but it literally looks like I've just like I have done nothing to my skin like it actually looks really nice and like glowy and you can still obviously see all my pimples I wasn't putting on makeup to like cover them I was just putting it on to like even out my skin tone but I'm going to put on a bit of concealer and just like cream products and then set it with a tiny bit of powder and just spray my face which is what I normally do anyway these days unless I'm going like out out I won't really put on like any makeup anyway um but I feel a bit gross today so that's why I'm putting on makeup not that I have to justify look at all these baby hairs just poking out I really need some concealer anyway I just thought I would share that because I was really impressed and if you ever want to apply anything with your hands I would say go little first and then build it up because I put on like a bit and it really like spread out um and then I needed like some more in some areas so yeah, I'm going to put on some concealer actually to cover up some of my pimples because this, this one's a bit out of control and it's ugly. So, yeah. Okay, makeup is done. Um, like I said, I used that BB cream. It is so good. If you guys live in Australia, you should definitely check it out. It's just, like I said, it's the off-duty BB cream by Mecca Max. Um, and then for concealer... Sorry, my makeup thing is like a mess. Um, okay, for my eyebrows, as usual, I use the Brow Ultra Slim by Maybelline. My hair's frizzy and it's dropped, so that's awesome. I'm just going to shove you guys up here. Uh, okay, so, BB cream. Oh, that's why, because the freaking mirror is reflecting. What a doofus. Um... Legit, where is the concealer? Okay, the brow gel I used was the L'Oreal 
plump and set brow artist in I think this is just translucent I rubbed it off <laughs> well it's rubbed off I literally just use the Maybelline fit me concealer there we go oh my god you can see my boobs and then I just decided to um conceal with it under my eyes I didn't do like down my nose or anything today um and then I used the new Morphe setting spray as well I need to get more of this actually when I go to Mecca um what else uh for like bronzer i use the mecha max medium i forget what they call this but it's just their like bronzer um their cream bronzer i really want to try the cream blush but for cream blush today i used another maybelline product it's the cheek heat this one is in 20 rose flush um and then i set my makeup with the maybelline fit me powder as always i'm actually i've actually hit pan on this so i won't buy any anytime soon like until i actually need it again but yeah so i use that um and i literally just set my whole face with that but really lightly like i didn't go heavy and i didn't like drag it around i just popped it on my face and like i said i sprayed my face and i haven't used any highlight which i should probably do but for mascara i used a combo of the l'oreal telescopic the gold one with um bad gal bang by benefit um but this is completely dried i just use it to kind of like separate my eyelashes and i also curl them as well before i put anything on um, and then I curl them after, which I know you're probably not meant to do, but I do anyway. And that's it. I use no powder products except for the setting powder. But now I need to put on highlighter. So I'm going to whip out the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. Haven't touched this in ages, but we're going to give it a go today. This is a Mecca Cosmetica brush as well. I got it in... I remember I got it in like a beauty loop, I think. I'm just gonna pop that on there. Not a lot because I already put on oh yeah, I also used um primer obviously and sunscreen. So for those I used the Bondi Sands Hydra uv protect spf 50 face lotion i'll either use this um or the natio daily defense moisturizer like interchangeably um and then for primer for like a luminous look i use the maybelline master prime illuminating primer good morning it is monday morning so i started this vlog on friday and never really like finished it because i'd started filming it in during the week last week um but nothing exciting happened it was so boring i'm not going to put like the earlier part of that week up i might just put in friday's clip which you would already have seen um and i'm going to show you what i got from mecca because i ended up going in there when i went shopping on friday um in a sec i just have to go make my breakfast because i just got out of the shower um i have work at nine it's currently like maybe like 10 past seven um i've been up since like five um because my boyfriend stayed over and he had work early so yeah i will check back in when i've got my breakfast i'm a bit more awake i've had a sip of my coffee and then we'll go through the stuff that i got from Mecca. okay i'm back breakfast and coffee are here sorry Mecca. There was this new one in one of the local shopping centers that I have like near me. And I haven't been in there yet. It is magical. Like so big. So spread out. Just so nice and like so bright. Oh, it was just like heaven. First I'll show you what I actually like got. And then I also got a beauty loop box as well. Which is like part of their members service like depends how much you spend in that quarter i think so first i got a top up of the morphe continuous setting mist pretty sure yeah i have the mini one so i got the big one um, mainly because i'm going away like i said and i wanted it <laughs> i wanted a new one 
Um, I got the Mecca Max Off Duty Blush Stick. So this is like the contour that I was using the other day. This one's in the shade Pinch. It's a really, really pretty pink. Um, I got the Mecca Max Bright Illuminating Primer. And then I got a Deluxe Buffer Brush. So I've got one similar. I don't know if it's the same. M439. It is the same, but I'm going to use one for blush and contour and then the other one for just like foundation um because i've been using it for both so yeah it like gets gross really quickly and everything so that's why i got another one of those i didn't think i got the exact same brush but i did and then in my beauty loop box so that's what it looks like they already opened it <laughs> i'm only level one so yeah i've seen what people get in like their level three and four um but i got the sol de janeiro little tester of their perfume which i'm obsessed with sol de janeiro oh my god i finished they're the ones that do like the bum bum cream in the orange tub and it is divine so <laughs> i just finished my big tub of it and i'm really sad i got the i don't know how you pronounce this the I don't know. I'm not even going to try. But I got these little like sample packets of these. I got a sample packet of the Clinique Moisture Surge. I've actually tried this before and I love it. And then I got the Afterglow Lip Balm by NARS. And it comes in like a little trial thing with like a little applicator and um, a sample of the lip balm. So I'm excited to give all them a go one day <laughs> um but yeah i'm just gonna quickly have my breakfast get ready have to pack a bag i'm not staying here tonight i'm staying at my boyfriend's house ah oh, mondays are kind of like stressful i try to take them a bit slow but it just never works in my favor so yeah good morning it's tuesday today and i'm about to make my coffee um it's actually turned out to be quite a nice day today it's like blue skies Keep in mind, it's 7.30 and I've been awake since like 5. So I'm going to make a coffee and I'm going to get ready and then I'm going to head to the shops really quickly because there's a few things I want to pick up. I need to get some stuff from Kmart actually. So yeah, my hair looks disgusting. Um, I'm going to, I don't know if I want to make an iced coffee or a normal coffee iced coffee okay even though it's cold um so i'm gonna make that and then i will check back in with you guys when i am getting ready probably to go but yeah nothing major really planned it's just getting ready to go away <laughs> so yeah i made like a massive list as well definitely gonna overpack but it's fine so okay well Hello, for the freaking third time I am trying to film this. First time I forgot everything downstairs. Second time I forgot two things downstairs. And then, I don't know, this is the third time. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm back from the shops now. It's like 10.30 and I just had something to eat. Um, I had baked beans on like thins with um, some cheese an egg and barbecue sauce and it was really good i'm obsessed with beans right now i literally had never had them before until like a week ago and now i'm obsessed so first went to the chemist got these two things so i saw a tiktok and this girl um had these two products but i'm not sure i got them in the right colors so i just got the like most similar because they might call them something else in america which i'm pretty sure is where she got them from so this one's a maybelline superstay ink crayon that's what it looks like this one is in 10 trust your gut and then i got the lifter gloss um in 004 silk so they're both very brown and she used this as a lip liner 
Um, and because it's like kind of chunky, you could use it for both, like a lip liner and then color your lips in with it and then use this on top. So I haven't been wearing lipstick or anything recently, mainly because we haven't been able to go out anywhere. But even now when we are, I just don't go towards lipstick or lip gloss anymore. I'm not sure why, because I used to wear it all the time. So I'm going to try these out, see how they go and see if I find a new combo that I love. Um, next, <laughs> I went to Kmart and I got a makeup case. So this one's quite big and it's quite slim. I have this amazing one um, that my boyfriend's mum got me last, not last Christmas, the Christmas before. And um, I use it at home. Like that's where I store all of my stuff at home, like my everyday kind of products because I, it has like a thing for your brushes and yeah it's just really spacious so it fits everything in there and i can actually see what's in there but to go away i don't really have one that's like compact and this is quite big but it also is quite slim like obviously when you put stuff in there it's going to fatten up but i didn't actually get to see what it looked like in store like inside because they've got these like locks on them now and i can't even get it out which is awesome but i'm pretty sure this was like 12 dollars Okay, I did it. I opened it. So, <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb. Wow, this is actually a really big inside. So that's what it looks like inside. And it's got like a pocket detailing here. Um, and yeah, so I thought this was good. Just because even when I'm away, I'll just chuck everything on the floor anyway. Just to kind of keep everything together. I can just chuck it all in there. And it's not like huge. So, happy with that. That one's called... The Shell Shape Toiletry Bag Black. And I, yeah, like I said, I think it was like $12. Kind of pricey, but it's okay. Then I got some new G-strings. This one came in a set with grey and two black pairs. Um, and it's no, in, no visible line, so it's like seamless. So yeah. They're not like really skinny G-strings, which I kind of appreciate because they're a bit uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, the set was $12 as well. And then I got some more socks because I wear them for work. And these ones were like $3. Yep. $3. Um, $10. Oh, <laughs> $10. And then the undies were 12 And then lastly, I went into Glassons because I love brown. And I saw this in the window. And I was like, mm -hmm, I need that. So I have this top in so many colors like nearly all of them that they come in i have it in the like nudie beige color black purple pink and now i have it in this brown color and it's called porcini so these ones are i'm pretty sure they're like the baby tea or something but really really nice so happy with that and now i'm just going to put all this stuff away um and get on with my day hi i literally look like i've been dragged through the streets um so this has been me for the past like three hours or more i have been in my udi I, I had a shower i thought it was gonna make me like feel energized but i feel like absolute crap and i have been and i think it might be iron levels which i've dealt with before so i have to go to the doctors and get a blood test soon um I also think it's probably because I'm a bit dehydrated. I have had like one glass of water today. So that's not good. And it's quite warm today. Um, it's literally blue skies. Like, hi. How pretty. Does it look outside? And I'm inside doing F all. Like, nothing. Um, I've been watching weekly vlogs. Because they go for like an hour. And, you know, it's a bit of a crappy excuse because i feel like i've been doing something because i've been watching these things um but i haven't been so literally all i did was have lunch for lunch i had a falafel like pitta pocket thing with tzatziki it was quite boring <laughs> um and then i had like four of these table of plenty rice cakes i mean really good um showing of them so they're the triple berry yogurt ones which are actually very nice i didn't know how i would feel about them but they're quite nice so yeah i need to drink some water because i feel like i'm gonna pass out or something um my head feels so heavy but yeah 
I'm going to end the vlog here because I have tried to film this outro like three times and I end up rambling on forever. Um, but yeah, I'm melting like crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you want to. And I hope to see you guys in my next video, whatever that will be. Goodbye.